My passion is long range rifle shooting. And in order to have a perfect rifle, a perfect scope, or, or the best that money can buy, you've got to spend a lot of money. Uh, spending yeah, five to $10,000 on a rifle, another five to eight grand on a good scope. It's a good way to go. I suggest that if that's in your budget. Uh, if it's not though, great news. Now, right now, it's 2017. For the last few years, there have been some great new guns and scopes and such that have become available that you don't really need to break the bank to still be able to get pretty consistent hits at a thousand yards. Today, I'd like to talk about the least expensive option that I suggest. Uh, for under a thousand dollars, you can get into thousand yard shooting. And that's a, that's a pretty neat thing. So, long story short, the Ruger American Rifle Series. They're inexpensive as can be, $400, $450. Uh, get a 6.5 Creedmoor and then get a scope on it. Get the uh, SWFA Super Sniper Scope, a fixed reticle. You can get a 10 power or 12 power. Yes, this is not gonna be as nice as an Accuracy International Rifle with a Schmidt & Bender Scope, but the scope itself that I'm talking about, the Super Sniper, 300 bucks. The gun, 450 bucks, and you're getting a pretty decent setup. Uh, you're gonna have to have some scope rings. Get what you can on, on Amazon. Just, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be as good as the high-end ones, but start out with what you can get. Uh, you're gonna definitely want a bubble level. Uh, you can get one that attaches to the actual scope that for, yeah, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Get the $10 one that just mounts on top of the rail, the Picatinny rail. That'll work for now. Get into shooting, spend your money sending rounds down range. Uh, that's some of the best advice. Legendary long range shooter from Texas, Mac White. Uh, we were having a discussion one day after a long range class in, in Marfa, Texas, and he made this great comment. We were all talking about, well, if you could spend a few hundred extra dollars on equipment, what should you buy? And after we're all tossing out our ideas about this and that, Mac says, forget that buy ammo, send rounds downrange, see what the wind is doing to them, see what the different environmental factors, see what impact they're having. That was just brilliant advice. I suggest that to you. Start out inexpensively, get used to shooting at 1,000, 1,200 yards, and then when the time comes, step up to a, uh, a Ruger, uh, what is it, the new precision rifle, the RPR in 6.5 Creedmoor. Now you can consistently shoot at 1,500 yards. Add on a, uh, an even better scope, maybe a, a Vortex Viper, uh, the 6x24. Those are, those are great scopes. Super Sniper, still a great series. There are actually a number. Bushnell has a good scope. Uh, Burris, I've been hearing, has some good scopes. There are a lot of options that you can get into a scope for under $1,000 that is still pretty darn capable at 1,500 yards. These are a few tips to get going on the bottom uh, bottom rung that is worth doing. And, and I say bottom rung, the, the Ruger American, the Super Sniper fixed reticule, 10 or 12 power is perfect. That's your bottom rung. Your next rung up would be the RPR, Ruger Precision Rifle, with a Vortex Viper scope. And then uh, another time we can talk about the higher end gun and scope combos. But this is enough to get you going and having fun out in the desert or prairie or wherever you are.